All right, we're gonna show you guys the Luna Black Box. This is basically the simplest way to do any kind of programming on your Luna Drive. So it used to be, you know, you had to have your laptop and your program cable and, you know, hopefully you had a PC because if you had a Mac, you were out of luck. Now it's just one piece all together. So basically you're gonna get your bike and just like you used to do, you would unhook the display. So set our black box there. We're gonna disconnect our display. Hopefully set our black box there. Disconnect our display. Once you've got that, you're gonna plug in your box. Whoops, wrong side. So as soon as you plug it in, you're gonna see it's gonna power up. And then you can hit okay. And once you've hit that, you're gonna get into all the basic settings here, the, the first menu. And in the first menu, you've got a few different options here. And if you want an explanation on these, you can go into help. And then you can read about each of the different menu options. So right now, just to keep it short and sweet, we're gonna go back and we're gonna give you a quick run through. So if you are a beginner at programming and you don't wanna you know, potentially program something into your drive that could cause something bad to happen, you can go into your beginner settings and then you've got your basics. So you've got like easy, which is gonna be like very mellow, cruise, which is gonna be a little bit more power, fast, which is a little bit more than cruise, and then full power, which is just gonna be the, the max that you can get out of your drive. So that's what beginning is. And then you also have the option to turn uh, pass, zero, throttle on, off. What that means is when you're in pass zero, you can have throttle or you can not have throttle. So right now it's in the on mode. So if you, had, if you told it to program right now, you would have throttle and zero. So we'll go back to the menu. And then the next thing is gonna be advanced. And this is for people who you know, really wanna get technical with their drive. You can go through and actually program all of the features that the drive has. So any setting that is available on the drive, you can control through this. You've got the three different pages. You've got the basic, the pedal assist, and the throttle page. So you can control all parameters on all pages with this uh, menu option. So once you've set it the way you want it, you hit write all, or if you would just want to program one page, you hit write. And then it would just write whichever page you're currently on. So let's say you're in throttle page, it would write that. Basic page, it would write that. Pedal page, it would write that. So let's go back to the menu. And the last one is gonna be advanced profiles. And what this is, is it used to be that if you wanted a program, let's say, you know, EM3 EV program, you would have to buy one of their drives to get their program. Well, th what they've done is they've loaded all of the options of the most common drives in here. So you can try, you know, everybody says their program is the best. Well, you can go ahead and try them all out and see what you like the best. And then of course, when you realize that you want that Luna program, it's right here. So you can always come back to it. And then another feature on here is whatever is loaded into this bike, if we hit save, it's gonna say profile saved successfully. That means we just copied what's written into the motor right now. And that's gonna stay in the box until we hit save again. So let's say now that we've saved it, if we went back and we did some kind of advanced adjustments and changed these parameters and hit write all, it would write a new file into the bike but when you come back and hook this up again, you can just go back into the advanced profiles. And if you hit load, it would reload that saved file that you previously got out of the bike. So that's always gonna stay in the box until you save again. So that way, if you have a file that you really like, you've got a program that you've figured out that you really like, but you wanna tweak it some, you just make sure you save it as it is It'll tell you that it's saved, and then you can go back and you can try you know, any of these other profiles, or you can go ahead and you know, adjust your um, programming in the advanced mode, and 
if you don't like the changes and you want it to go back to the original that you had before, you just go back to that advanced profiles and you tell it to load and it's going to reload that saved file that you liked before. So the other thing with this is whenever you plug this into your bike, it's automatically going to read your drive. So as soon as you plug it in, what you see in here is going to be what's loaded on your bike. So let's say right now, let's just tell it to ride all. It's going to ask you confirm this operation. If you change your mind, hit no. But for now, we're going to do it. So we're going to say yes. So now we've got this program saved in the bike. Now if we disconnect it, the, the box is going to go black. So without power, you're going to see nothing. And then as soon as it plugs into the bike, and keep in mind the bike needs to have a battery on it for this to power up. So as soon as it plugs in, it's already read the drive. So when you hit OK, when you click on this advanced, you're going to see whatever's loaded into that bike. But if we had a different file, let's say we, you know, since this is Ashley's bike and she's so crucial to Luna, maybe we should slow her down a little bit. So let's give her like 20% in everything. So max speed 20% all across. So we can just go in and we can program these parameters. It's really simple. Way faster than dealing with a laptop. I'm doing this upside down. That's how easy it is. OK, so now we know Ashley's going to be really safe because she's barely got any power. We're programming that in. And then we're going to go into Advanced Profiles, we're going to save, and it's going to save this Save Ashley, Safe Ashley, we'll call it that. So now we're going to disconnect it. Actually, here, let's do this. We'll go back to the main menu, and we'll go into Advanced. And we're going to go, let's just say, well, let's go to the menu. Let's go to Advanced Profiles. Let's click on the Ludicrous, and we're going to say, yes, we want the Ludicrous. So now that programmed ludicrous in here, but because we hit save, we should have Ashley's saved safe mode in here. So if we go into, if we now disconnect, as soon as we reconnect, we should see the ludicrous mode because that's what's in the bike. So we hooked it up again. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go to advanced. And there it is. There's the ludicrous mode. But if we go back into the advanced profiles, and we tell it to load, this should reload Ashley's slow bike. So now, when we, now that we've reloaded it, we can check to see what's in there by going into advanced and hit read all. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, there it is, yeah. So it did work. Okay, so yeah, we got Ashley's saved safe bike, safe bike mode. So now she's, you know, stuck at 20% the whole time. Can't wait for her to ride this. Right all. And then, no, it's already saved. It's already oh. in there because we hit load. So as soon as you do this, as soon as you hit load and hit yes, it loads whatever's saved in the box. So that, that file that we were just looking at is going to be saved in the box until somebody hits save again. So if we wanted to ride over that, we could just hit Luna Ludicrous, tell it yes. And then in order to save that into the box, we would have to hit save again. And then it tells you profile saved, and now Ludicrous is saved into the box. So and then basically, you can modify Ludicrous mode. Yeah, and so now you can go back into the menu. You can go to Advanced, and you're going to see the Ludicrous mode is here, and you could adjust that, and then tell it to write all. So let's say we just wanted to make, you know, let's say we just want to do something silly like 50% in this uh, level of pedal assist. So we're going to hit Enter, and we've got 50% and zero. We'll hit write all, hit yes. And now that's going to be saved. And you also have these things. Yeah, and you can go through any of the pages and adjust all parameters. Right. Yeah. So that's it. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much everything for the black box. I mean, there's, there's a lot to it, but trying to keep it simple for you, that's the basics of it. And like I said, if you want to know more, go into the Help menu. They've got a write-up on every um, menu option right here. It's really easy to use.
All right. Yep. And if you're reading these, you can also scroll through. They've got the buttons that'll scroll through to the to the next page. So very user friendly, really nice. You know, it's a really cool feature. I one thing that I really like about this is before if you wanted to go fiddle around with your bike and tune it, you had to carry your laptop with you and go out and test your bike and then plug in your laptop, get your cord out, deal with all that. Now you just carry this one thing with you and you can go really fine tune your bike and makes it a lot easier. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is a cool feature. And of course it's awesome if you're, you know, let's say you have a shop and you're building bikes, you can just run through and plug this into all your drives and program really fast. You don't have to keep moving a laptop around and all that. So really cool. Um, pretty excited to see people using these and see what they say about them. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks, Josh.